So this is the very base, and it is starting to look funky. Good morning, YouTube friends. We are on terrain today, see? And we have this little fir tree. It's kind of a tall, skinny thing. He says it's been dead over five years, and I believe it because most of the limbs fell off. This thing way up there. There is one thing to worry about that's the neighbors. So the neighbor says we can do whatever the heck we want, but don't hit that. Pump. There's like a pump or like a. Well okay, type I see thing it. Up there. I see it. So we need access so, into this tree. Yeah. Something you can rely on. And yeah, we'll talk about that. I'll show you how we, we do this step by step. So that even if you were a newbie, if you got a few pieces of gear, you could set yourself up for success. So what we'll do is, is I'll use this tree. I'll be tied into this, this tree. That way if it broke and it fell for some reason, I'd be tied back to there. I'd still have to make sure I wasn't tied to this if it tipped over, cause then I'd be stretched between them. This is called uh, an APTA. You can make one of these at the hardware store. It's made, this one was made by Tree Stuff, Air Powered Tree Access, APTA. You pump the cannon up. like a hard shot. It went to a really good place, but it didn't go out the back. So we do it again. Yeah. So YouTube. Looks like you got the rake out. <laughs> you could just spur up the fir tree back there. But then you'd be putting spurs in it and that would raise eyebrows because we're not cutting that tree down. And then besides the eyebrow raising, once your line's in place like this, all I'm gonna have to do is climb the target tree. I won't have two trees to climb. Oh, that is pegged. <laughs> yeah, it is. That is. And I was looking at you thinking, yeah, it's never gonna, it's never gonna stop. This new throw line is birds nesting really bad because it was on a spool and that is making me frustrated. We're going to try from the uphill side this time, which makes more sense for distance, but less sense for the rope route. Because if the rope gets behind these limbs, it won't help me a lot once I get up there. But I could always go up the rope and over or something. Anyway, we'll just try. We'll just keep making moves. Dude. The pump goes up to 180, and then we just peg it over in here somewhere. See if that's enough. Oh, it hit the tree and bounced, didn't it? Uh, oh yeah, oh yeah. That's it, that's the one. And it's dangling way out there yeah. by my tree, which is perfect. So that took easily 20 minutes, but we don't have to go up the fir tree. So we don't have to go up this tree now. We'll base tie, we'll, we'll put our, well, I guess I have to show you, don't I? He ties the climb rope on the other end of this. And we pull it all the way up and back down to us. And then we take that end that we just pulled to ourselves and we tie it to something down here and we anchor it. And then we go up the other side of the rope. 
winter. So it's base tied here. That's not any kind of special knot or anything. That was just me using up some slack. And then goes up through the canopy over those limbs and comes down in here. And I'll just use it as a safety. This will be more of a flip line show anyway. And once I'm up there, I'll figure something out. Okay, now as I'm going up this thing, I have to keep... I have to observe how it moves. You don't want to shake something out on top of yourself. Or wiggle it and break it somewhere below you either. So far, it feels pretty good. So if it were to break and fall or something, I would need to get this off of me quick so that I wasn't, this one wasn't holding me while this one was pulling me the other way. I think it's probably gonna be pretty firm. It's got some rot down below, which I hate that. But, like right now, it's, I'm not gaffing real deep into it, so. The new guy would think it looks easier than it is, probably. He'd think, he just wouldn't know from any experience what to expect, what to watch for what to see that's pretty pretty on there that's a good sign see I couldn't break that off by hand <laughs> question is what will we do when we get to the top to get this thing down here and not harm the little ladies shrubs and stuff all right, YouTube, August is up there climbing. These are the kind of things that we're watching out for. Just got some of these little shrubs. We don't want to be bumping this stuff. So what's cool, YouTube, right now is as I'm going up this, see, yes, it took me 20 minutes to get the line, but I didn't have to go all the way up that tree set a line and then come down and then swing over and grab onto this thing with lateral pressure. All right, a couple more things that we got to worry about up here is we've got this piping coming all the way up and then as we get <laughs> okay coming under then as we get a little higher here we've got this pump head thing I think it has something to do with the irrigation but you can't be hitting this So I'm trying not to jostle the tree much, see? I'm, I'm trying not to do a lot of this. It is kind of cool though that right above me, I have some limbs that would be the first guardians of my head if something broke out and fell toward me. Thing is, I'm gonna go climbing past them. <laughs> Don't think that this is dangerous okay don't it's not the message we're trying to convey here we're trying to show you how in, in this situation you can take steps to pull off this tree removal with, with no with no real stress at all you know I have a backup I'm keeping an eye on the tree as I go. I'm feeling like it's kind of decent up here. You know, the limbs are 
are not just breaking out of the collar like really really rotten we're not like charging an arm and a leg to people saying oh it's dead because we know how to deal with it to us it doesn't feel like a big stressor Sorry about the moisture. Thing is, I'm not in charge of that, so can't be blamed for the moisture. I'll just go around this limb rather than cut it off. Now I'm starting to feel this movement. Woo 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 woo. You know that that movement? Like where you're feeling shock waves in the tree as it as the things you do carry on up and down from the point of where the where the rock makes the ripple in the pond don't notice that i did that with one hand please pruning cut Ooh. okay that's that's getting a little squishy Hey Damien, you might want to move your truck just in case. I think for now I'll go up a little higher. into some weird stuff. So when you're climbing up breadsticks, you don't want to be way out away from them. You want to stay kind of close so that you're not torquing them from the side so you're keeping your weight straight up and down on the tree you're trying to limit a lot of turkey jerky shaking around see the herky jerky shake yourself around that's what it's not about try to keep your keep up with your tension on your safety line because you don't want to fall into it with a bunch of slack if you do have to fall. Which way? Out here. Out here. Yeah, it's not leaning that way. No, I'll have to push it. It does not lean that way. I could put it in the guy's driveway easy. That would be exciting. Probably wouldn't poke a hole in it because it's dead. What do you think? You'd have to we'd have to clean it up if it's on the driveway. Alright you guys, August is looking at this thinking that he can actually push this top. 
out this way and get it in here and keep this safe. That's the little pump right here. Well, it's spongy into my spurs right here. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shove it down in there. Right there. If you were to go like, you know, there's that oak limb kind of above you sticking out to the right. If you were to go like just to the, just to the side of that thing, I think it would drop down pretty yeah, nicely into that I opening. I got a hole for it, but I'll have, I'll have to push on it yeah. for sure. Yes, I will. And I don't think, well, it, it does have one limb that's going to fight me a little bit. Yeah, that's not good. There's a limb that's kind of married behind me from a little dead limb. The YouTube, this is a tree that um, they have kind of a landscaping crew that comes out here and there's somebody that does some tree work too. They've removed some stuff by the house, but they looked at this one and it was uh, looking a little too scary for them. So August is making it happen. You guys know August. I'm still climbing up for some reason here. <laughs> well, your top will be easier to push. One more limb to get to that's caught behind me that I don't want to deal with. I can reach it now. It's like, oh, that's the one that was holding it up. I can reach clearly now. The time's gone. Okay, I can push this. Yeah, it's looking pretty good now. I can push it, YouTube. I'm gonna make a face cut here and a back cut. I'll try to do it all with two hands so I can be friendly to those that want to see that. And uh, and I'll push it right out beside this hoe limb and there's a little hole for it right there it should make it okay there we go Starting to sit back on my saw a little bit, so. All right, he's there, he's about to push the top out. All right, so now I've got it all, um, what do you call it, crippled, and I'm just gonna push it off. You don't want enough side pressure when it tips to break it below you. That's a thing that happens sometimes. But it's not going to happen this time. I'm up so high that the force exerted laterally isn't going to be enough. So, okay, here, let's go. Let's just stop talking about it. And that was dialed. Praise God. How's our little irrigation line there? Just to the right of it? Hey guys, let me show you something. He was able to clear the irrigation line and when it came down, he had the tip come out and then stab back and then it was lunged back this way and then it kind of dug up just perfectly underneath it. You know the drill. It needs end weight reduction anyway, so I'm gonna do it too. Well, it, 
you gotta watch out because if it lands right here that puppy going downhill I'll be all kind to the, to the safety algorithm and do a snap cut. And I'll try to clear that hung up limb down there. There's a, there's a limb there that I want to knock out, but I don't want to drop this on the irrigation line. Oh, so close. Well, I guess we could follow this now. So there's an irrigation line there. Well, we could protect it. I'll just keep popping chunks, it's easy. It's gonna be my rapper name, Pop a Chunk. <laughs> Makes me sound a little portly. All right, you guys, originally we wanted to get this stick down below the oak and below this other oak. That way we could just follow it out this way. But with uh, the irrigation line, we decided it would probably be better to not follow it up that way, just in case. Not that it would be a big issue. And we could protect it, but we would be following it. It'd, it'd be crossing over it for sure. So. Two hands on the saw the whole time. One pass cut. Let's try that again. Two hands on the saw. I don't recommend people do it this way at all. I just want to see if it, <laughs> if it can be done. Pop a chunk. What's up, Papa Chunk? Papa Chunk. I'd say I'm gonna just chunk it all the way down because I'm so comfortable in my monkey beaver harness. I don't even want to come down. Just like in the poem. Sorry, mommy, my first word was tree, and when I found it, I never came down. Cause I'm an arborist. Watch sawdust fly with a flick of my wrist. gonna tie to this now and repel out yeah Dunk. all right let me let me uh somehow miss the irrigation ditch here dialed dialed can i cut something now now <laughs> well, let's find out if my if my tie-in would have held See if it's tying would have held you do. If I were you, I would just repel all the way down to the parking lot. <laughs> I would. I'd repel okay. down there and I'd repel onto the bricks. I'd repel right to the ground. Here, I'll throw your bag down. Oh, that's interesting. How'd that get down here? I wouldn't know. <laughs> I'm just the climber. Nice <laughs> dog. So now Damien will untie my base tie and I'll just pull my rope back. And another problem solved. I've shown this before YouTube and I'm gonna show it again how cool this rope bag is to sell at 
simple innovation, really. You just strap it around yourself like this, and you put it through this buckle. It's one of these quick release buckles, and you just bend it over like that. And then now, your um, the point that you're working is like right in front of you, and you're just standing there, right? So when you put your rope away, I'm just pulling my rope back right now from the tree. It's like going up there a hundred feet, probably. I gotta pull it, pull it down and out of there anyway, so I might as well be putting it away. I'll try to make it look a little more coordinated. Thank you. Whenever people say that, I'm always like, why? What does this mean? Clay. All right. So now it's all in there. Go like this. And you pop it here. Now you got all your rope tidy in one spot here. Okay. That's it, you got a little handle right there. Off you go. You are an absolute superstar. <laughs> no. What a you. savage. You. He didn't tell the camera this, but I started spiking up that thing and my knees started shaking so bad from the heights and it felt a little punky. And You're right, I didn't tell anyone that. I had to come down. And then I was like, Jeff, maybe you should try. Jeff walked up to it and then he walked away. And then you called Reg Coats, and he was like, no way. Yeah, I called, yeah, called Reg. And Billy Ray was like, no. No, Bucking came to try and fall it, and there was nowhere to fall it. So yeah. we called him the one and only. Yeah, and he called Mark Chisholm, and he was like, no thanks. And Lauren uh -huh. Schultz was like, you need to get yourself an August Honky out here. Yeah, even Lawrence. <laughs> yeah. You know, Fanner Man. Fanner Man can't do it. Then maybe August Hunnick you can. And if I left somebody out, they called you too. Yep. Zach Axe came down from Pennsylvania to take a look. And he said, no way. Nope. Nope. All right. We'll talk to you later.